Hi, we have another video here from Life with Lane. I'm Lane's husband. And so today we're going to do a, a quick uh, little kind of review or, or a story transitioning to an EV. Uh, we used to have a 2019 Kia Soul that we brought brand new. Uh, we bought it, um, yeah, beginning of 2019, brand new. And then at 130,000 miles, the engine died on us. Um, it blew a rod. And the dealer quoted us for uh, 10 grand to replace the whole engine before labor. So that made us think about a new vehicle. As we were thinking of used um, ICE vehicles, we looked at Hondas. We thought about maybe Toyota, something reliable. And um, I had been interested in EVs for years, um, but never owned one. So it worked out where we have a house now with a garage. and. As an electrical apprentice, I could install my own uh, level two charger for the home to charge the EV. So we thought, let's give it a shot. So we shopped around online and we found this uh, used 2018 Chevrolet Bolt EV, uh, Premier trim. And it was at a local small used EV car dealership called Recharged. Uh, right here, here's the website, recharged.com. Uh, check them out. They were great. Uh, thanks to Zach and the team for making the experience uh, very smooth and easy and uh, knowledgeable staff and great customer service. So we test drove the Bolt um, and we had a good offer um, from them. They, uh, they offered us uh, 19000 for it and not only that, but it was a formerly uh, used fleet uh, leased vehicle. So it had low mileage, only 47,000 miles on it, and as they had the battery replaced with a new battery. So uh, this current battery is new battery, um, which is almost like a new car. So the lease on, I'm sorry, the warranty on this battery goes until 2031 or 146,971 miles, whichever comes first. So it's an eight year or 100,000 mile warranty on the new battery. And so we're excited. So it's almost like a new car. Um, I know in 2018, these uh, bolts cost over $30,000 before the tax credit. And so it only cost us 19,000 for almost a like new car. So, and we got a tax credit. Uh, we got 2,000 out of the available $4,000 on the tax credit for this. So, uh, it's been worth it so far. Um, I'll show you about charging here in a minute, but uh, we've already paid for the cost of the charger just by not needing to do oil changes. Um, I calculated it up. You know, we drive a lot. We, it's a two-person uh, two family with one car. Uh, so we, we drive a lot and we take road trips. Uh, we live in Richmond, Virginia, and so we have taken this uh, all over the state, all over Virginia, and into uh, North Carolina and DC, and it hasn't been a problem for range. Um, range uh, during the prime time uh, weather conditions, I've seen 300 miles of range, and uh, typical average, 100%, maybe for the whole year, would be around I don't know, 275 including you know cold weather months so range has has been fine you know i only have a 13 mile commute to work and you know whether i drive on highway or non-highway roads it's it's not been a problem um usually only use maybe maybe you know 15 to 20 percent of the battery each day so i recharge a little bit each day and overnight you know, I just plug it in, let it charge overnight while I sleep, and my car is ready to go. So home fueling station, uh, we like that a lot. Uh, electricity here, I'm planning on the high side, maybe peak hours cost is about maybe 10 to 11 cents per uh, kilowatt hour. So um, we've saved over half of what we would pay in gas uh, just with the EV fuel. So. Um, we can take a look around here. Um, it's not the cleanest condition right now, but uh, we have a charge port here. 
and it's currently on, so you can't hear anything. Um, it's silent when it's part. So I'll show you a little bit of the interior. Uh, The display is nice. I'll show you more from the other side. Uh, the back side here, it's plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom. I don't have a problem. I'm five foot eight. Um, hasn't been a problem with leg room. And in the back seat, people haven't complained about not having enough headroom or leg room. Likewise. Um, the seats fold down. The seats are comfortable. Um, they're not the best seats. Uh, it has front and rear heated seats. So that's been nice. Front and rear heated seats. We often fold down the back seats uh, to transport a lot of different things. And I've been surprised with how much we can fit inside of it. Uh, it has a lower little compartment there for storage and of course we are facing camera um, it has good alerts you know for the rear pedestrian crossing that's been really helpful um, taking a look in here I'll show you some of the screen It has a, <clears throat> a 50, 50 mile uh, kind of rolling efficiency graph here. And so um, currently we're in great conditions, uh, mid 70s, lower 80s. So I've got an outstanding uh, fuel efficiency here on, on this bolt. So again, in the last few days, I've gotten an average of 5.2 miles per kilowatt hour which is pretty awesome, I would say, comparatively to what I've been researching online, hearing from other uh, boat owners, EV owners. Um, this is great. I think in the wintertime, <clears throat> you know, when it typically gets the worst <clears throat> or less fuel economy, uh, I averaged about 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour, which is still pretty decent, pretty good considering. Um, of course, internal combustion engine cars also have lower fuel efficiency in the winter time. Um, so you can't knock EVs too much because all cars are going to be less fuel efficient no matter what fuel you use uh, in colder weather. But again, I haven't had a problem here um, in Virginia with, with range and um, not, not a problem at all. It has other different graphs here and information you can, you can see, but Basically, uh, we, we started off with a level one charger that came with the vehicle. We plugged it into the wall outlet in our garage. And I can show you our new charger, um, one that I installed uh, several months ago. <clears throat> we got this charger soon after we bought the car. It's an Autel uh, charger. I love it. I just park it in the garage and have plenty of cable, but even still, when I want to park it outside, I have enough cable uh, to reach. Let me just plug it in. And you can see the light here on the front dash. Blinking green means it's charging. So, again, it hasn't been a problem to charge. Uh, I can adjust the rate of charge, the amount of amperage, um, through my phone. So I like that. I can just go in the app and adjust, you know, how fast or slow I want it to charge, and it's worked out fine. Uh, again, so um, we'll probably do more videos with this car, go into more details, but overall, I haven't regretted the switch. Um, I loved the Kia Soul that we bought. Uh, it was a Premier trim or Exclaim trim and uh, had a little turbo engine. 
and it was peppy and it had good storage but you know it just was burning oil and then it died on us so i know that's true not true of all kia souls um, but ours in particular that's just what happened and the bolt has been reliable um, again very low maintenance i've just replaced the front tires and um, haven't needed to do any other maintenance really um, just add washer fluid so more details to come on the bolt uh, more details to come on the charger and thanks for watching and uh, give us a like and subscribe thanks again